So I'm gonna talk about the Sonic movie. I just hope I'm not too late. Uh, you see what I did there? Uh, spoiler warning for those who haven't seen the movie yet. Don't watch this video. All right, so I know you guys have been spamming my comment section. Yes, I am in the post credit scene in the movie, which I thought was pretty awesome. And they got my voice actor, Colleen, to actually voice me. You know, the official one from the games. Not like the lazy YouTuber that voices me on this channel. <laughs> I just roasted myself. I kind of knew this was going to be a thing anyway before I even saw the movie because of spoilers. I got tagged on Twitter. I was told in my comment section. So when I went to actually see this in the movie, I was like, oh, look, it's me. Yeah, I knew this was coming. So I really wish I had known it was going to be a surprise because I would have gone crazy. I look so fuzzy and cute though. I'm not actually going to post a picture because I don't want to get in trouble. Because, you know, copyright is a thing. But I think my design's even better than Sonic's. I really hope they make a second movie because I'm totally going to be in it. It would also seem I was using some kind of tracking device to track down Sonic. My prediction is something has gone on within my universe that uh, Sonic was originally from. Maybe the Echidnas have gone evil because they were hunting Sonic's power. And I'm looking for Sonic, who is the fastest guy alive, so I can stop them. I'm also guessing that I knew Sonic existed since, you know, he was always running around when he was a kid. So just like in the actual games, I saw Sonic and I was trying to keep up with him and I thought he was really cool. Just this time I'm not stealing his plane and uh, modifying it. <laughs> if they actually put the tornado in the second movie, I will cry with happiness. Well, that's enough about me. Uh, let's talk about Eggman. So, Jim Carrey as Robotnik. He was hilarious. I mean, Eggman can be pretty funny sometimes, especially in Sonic Boom. But Jim Robotnik is something else. It's really cool seeing a live-action version of Dr. Eggman come to life. And he starts off, you know, a little bit eccentric, less of a cartoony villain, and he gradually starts to go a little bit more insane trying to catch Sonic. He's clearly got a few uh, screws loose. And he said himself that, you know, it's hard being the most intelligent person because everyone around you is stupid. I mean, I can kind of relate to that, but I'm not a butt, so I just don't say it. Plus, I'm pretty sure Eggman is actually smarter than me, but it doesn't mean he can build machines better than me. That takes skill. In the post credit scene, which was ruined by the trailers, by the way, he turns into Eggman full on. He loses his hair, he's bald, the mustache has gone crazy where he's been out in the mushroom world. So if we get that second movie, we're gonna see the Eggman that we all love to hate. Proper crazy Robotnik slash Eggman. I also noticed that uh, Sonic started to call him Dr. Eggman, but this time it wasn't because of his body shape. It was because of his robots he was making. They were like egg shaped. I don't think they'll make him fat like Eggman. I don't think they'll make him fat in the second movie, but who knows? Maybe all those mushrooms is how Eggman got fat in the first place. I wonder what he's eating out there. And some people have actually predicted that Eggman is in the Mushroom Hill Zone from Sonic 3. I'm not entirely sure, but who knows? I think it's supposed to be another world entirely, so it wouldn't make sense for it to be the Mushroom Hill Zone. Next, I would like to talk about Movie Sonic himself. So he's definitely different to the usual Sonic. He of course has a different voice actor this time, Ben Schwartz, whose version of Sonic is very different to Roger Craig Smith's version of Sonic, who voices him in the current games. I felt like this Sonic came across as younger. He had that uh, cockiness and hyperactiveness that Sonic has, but he was definitely more childlike and less cool. There weren't many moments where Sonic was actually just calm, and the times where he wasn't being hyperactive, it would seem like Sonic was depressed and lonely, which I found really sad. But I guess since he had to go and hide out in the human world, he couldn't have any real friends, and I just found that so sad. Because Sonic has a lot of friends in my universe. Maybe that's why his ego's so big. Can we just say, though, movie Sonic flosses. One of the many references in this movie. I'm not sure if Sonic would ever floss, but it has been done. And I'm sure Fortnite fans loved it. 
I did like how Movie Sonic also had his unique powers. Of course he runs really fast like the Sonic we all know, but Movie Sonic had the power to cause a massive EMP. After he started running really fast, the electricity was coming out of his quills. And then of course, yeah, that started the whole, uh, the army trying to get hold of him. Thought he was some kind of weapon or alien, who knows. I did enjoy this new approach to Sonic's personality. He did kind of like an Einstein impression at one point, and it reminded me of Jaleel White Sonic in the 90s where he would do a lot of voices and impressions, so it was kind of like a nod to that in my mind. I'm so glad they went with this new redesign as well, because if Sonic looked like how he was going to originally, I don't feel the movie would have done quite as well. But I'm really happy it's doing so well in the box offices because that means we're gonna get a second movie with me, totally. <laughs> I guess as well I could talk about the other humans. So we have James Marston playing Donut Lord, or Tom. He's a small town cop, seems to care about animals, which is really nice. And you know, he was really kind to Sonic. He broke the law just to help him and save his life, which was really cool of him. And then you had his wife, Maddie, who was a vet, and uh, she helped Sonic when he was sick, so she was, uh, she was really nice as well. I didn't feel like they really did too much with her character, though. Would have been nice if we got to know her a little bit more. But hey, maybe we will in the second one. Best character in the movie was Crazy Carl, though. Because he drew a picture of Sonic as Sonic, and I love that reference. He wasn't so crazy after all, though, remember? Although there was that part of him with the chainsaw. Huh. And he referred to Sonic as the Blue Devil. Well, you're not wrong. That kind of suits him. Maddie's sister was kind of grumpy. Seemed really like she wanted Donut Lord to get dumped, which I thought was kind of mean. Maddie's niece was really cute. I can't remember her name because I'm a terrible person, but I like the little touch that she gave Sonic her shoes, cause he was wearing some really nasty shoes that I guess he just found in the trash or something. Also pretty sure they uh, just wanted to advertise those shoes to kids to make them buy, buy, buy. The other characters were kind of too minor, so I'm not really gonna mention them. I just wanted to get, you know, the main characters out of the way. So the overall plot, uh, I did enjoy Sonic on the run. From Robotnik, of course, who was trying to capture him. I do really wish that we had seen more of Sonic's past, since, you know, they hyped up Baby Sonic so much and we didn't really see much of him. And what about Longclaw? Who is that? Somebody who took care of Sonic, but why couldn't we see, you know, more of how he ended up living with an owl in the first place? And I really wondered why the echidnas were even there. Surely if this is present time, I'm pretty sure old Knuckles' relatives died out a long time ago and he's the only one left. So I was really surprised to see that many of them. Sonic's universe actually looked really pretty too. It kind of had a knot hole feeling to it. You know, from the Sonic Sad AM series, I imagine the uh, houses to be a little bit like that, living in trees and stuff. So going back to my predictions for the second Sonic movie, if we ever get one, I feel like Sonic is gonna return home and he's gonna reunite with Longclaw. And perhaps the villains will be the Echidnas and maybe we'll see Knuckles. Even though, like you said, it makes no sense because they're supposed to not be alive anymore. Knuckles is the last one. So that is my nitpick that slightly bothers me, but I take the, the movie as its own thing and its own universe. Kind of like how Boom is its own thing. So there was a close-up of one echidna in the movie in particular, so perhaps this was Knuckles. You also got a clear view of his hands as well. So it could be him. Maybe they just wanted to make it clear to the audience that that was an echidna and foreshadowing Knuckles' appearance. If we do get a second movie, you guys wanna bet the Team Sonic are gonna be reunited. I've also heard some rumors that Amy could be in the movie as well. I've also seen some pretty cute fan art designs of her online as well, which I can appreciate. Overall, I would give the movie an eight out of 10. Maybe I'm just a big nerd. <laughs> I would have given it a 10 if I'd have been in the movie. If we do get a second movie, I'm gonna be so hyped because I think it's gonna be even better than the first. For the second movie though, I really, really wanna see more of the Sonic universe. That's what I'm hyped for. Not so much the human world stuff. You know what Hollywood's like. They like to make things super relatable for the normies. 
So this is a movie that all people can enjoy, even people who aren't big Sonic fans. It's a really good movie for younger fans who want to get into Sonic and don't know anything about the games. What did you guys think of the Sonic movie? Let me know what your rating is out of 10 in the comment section below. And also, what was your favorite part? And do you have any predictions for the second movie? Should we get one? But I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts. Especially on the tail scene because I know how much you've been asking me. I normally don't do review videos, so I'm sorry if this is all over the place. But if you did enjoy my review, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss a video from me. And whilst you're here, why not check out some other videos on my channel? Until next time, inventors!